grabbing a clean sanitized bucket, a clean palette, and a few products, as well as some clean brushes. Have you waxed your skin? Have you waxed any part of your face lately? No. Okay, Not awesome. in a while. I stopped waxing a while back. Okay, great. Um, so what products do you use currently? You said... I use Marcel Waters, um, and I use toner, and I use Revlon products. Okay, awesome. That's perfect. So we're going to be using a little bit different products on you today. Just a little something to even out the skin um, and get you a nice dewy complexion and then really natural shades because um, since you don't use much makeup, Revlon, they tend to make a lot of natural stuff. So we'll go with that. That sound good? It sounds good. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. You already have your eyes closed. Keep them closed, please. And we're going to add a little bit of this toner just to be wet the skin. Buy a little bit of primer to your skin. With my freshly cleansed tan that I washed. I'm just going to apply it to the T-zone area. Or I feel like you might have a little bit of oiliness. This is a yellowish primer, so it's actually going to do some of the work for us so we don't have to go in with such a heavy foundation. Which is what I thought. And then you don't really seem to. Did I actually have you turn your head just a bit? Mm -hmm. okay. And this is um, the Dior Skin Foundation. This foundation is very nice. Um, at resembling the actual skin tone, the actual skin type of the texture, which is I think what you probably really would like. It's going to last all day and give you a really nice even canvas for the rest of the day. I hate to cover up your freckles, but <laughs> just go right in. Mm -hmm. Can I have you put your lips in? In? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Work it into the hairline just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. And that looks that looks really good. After applying eyeshadow primer, we will go into the crease and define this area with a medium brown. After applying the warm brown to the crease, we went back in with a deeper shade just to define the outer V area and give definition to the eye. Now that we've applied a neutral base, we will go in with a really nice peachy pink. Now that we've defined the outer corner, just going to make sure that everything is really nice and blended. We've also defined the brow. Now we've went in and we've redefined the outer corner, we've defined the crease, and we have reapplied some of that peachy pink to the lid just to make sure that it really stands out. So now that we've defined the crease, we are going to go ahead and add some lashes. I've gone ahead and done that already. I added some strip lashes to her and she looks great and this is her peach blush to the apples of the cheeks. 
highlight and just sculpt the face. Now I'm going to apply some translucent powder. You looking lovely. Mm -hmm. You looking. Medium. Olive. You are olivey, but you're definitely fair as well. Mm. You look lovely. You look great. Do you feel confident? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> lipstick on your teeth. Some solution of bleach and water, and we're going to go ahead and um, throw away all of our loose containers that we use for the client. Percent alcohol to clean our palette and our brushes. 